Hey guys, how's it going? Now we've all been working from our home for almost a year now, and while everything else is great, one big hassle that we've personally been facing, which I know a lot of you guys have been too, is how to share files from one PC to another. Basically, if I have a lot of data on my system, how do I share it with my uh, teammates or my friends? So usually, cloud storage is one of the better options out there, but a lot of folks do not have premium plans for cloud storage. And secondly, the free versions do not support uploading of big files. I mean, most of them do not support data sizes over two GBs. So, well, what's the solution here? Well, apart from allowing you to take a remote connection of your friend's PC, TeamViewer, which is one of the better options in that remote connection genre, it also allows a free solution to, well, transfer data from one PC to another PC. And in this video, we'll be talking about how to use that feature. This is one from Guiding Tech, and let's get started. All right, so first up, simply download and install TeamViewer on both your PC or macOS devices. Both systems should now show a partner ID and a password. Okay, now one thing that you need to understand is that uh, obviously there will be a host and a client PC involved in there. So for instance, if one system is being accessed by another system, the system that will be accessed will be the host PC, while the system accessing it will be the client PC. Now what you need to understand here is that the controls or basically the commands in which what file or folder needs to be transferred from which PC to another will only be accessible via the client PC. I mean only that PC will have the options on what data needs to be transferred. The host PC will only allow the connection and will just have to wait it out to see what all transfers are happening. So keep that in mind. Let's assume I am the client. So I will go to the control remote computer section and enter my friend's partner ID. Then in the options below, click on file transfer and then click on connect. TeamViewer will now ask me for a password and once I have entered that, a connection should be established between my system and my friends. Now the file transfer window should now be open. You'll basically have two window panels, one which shows your data on the left side and the right side will show your host's PC. Now the actual process of transferring files is very simple. Just drag and drop the files or folders you want to transfer from one window to another. And yes, you can copy data from their PC to your PC as well by simply, like I said, dragging and dropping the files. Now as per your actions, the job queue at the bottom should be updated, reflecting the status of your file transfers. TeamViewer supports transfer speeds of up to 200 megabytes per second, which is great, but this largely depends on the internet speed of both the systems. Now I'll get to that in a bit, but basically this is how you transfer files using TeamViewer. Once you're done with the transfer, simply close the window and you're done. As a bonus, I just want to mention that while TeamViewer also allows you to transfer files using the remote connection, in which case you can still drag and drop items, I personally wouldn't recommend that since it will use up unnecessary bandwidth and data. Okay, so now before wrapping things up, there are just a couple of things that I want to highlight here. First up is the security aspect of it. So using TeamViewer while transferring data, one thing that you need to keep in mind is that you're keeping all of your data, basically literally all of your data accessible by the third person or basically anyone who is accessing your PC. The only thing that you'll get to know is the job queue, but they can still view all of your files and folders without you being aware of that. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Secondly, the data transfer speeds. So like I said, TeamViewer supports a maximum speed of up to 200 megabytes per second, which sounds great, but the thing to understand is that both of you guys need to be on a high speed internet plan. Basically, you need to understand this is a peer-to-peer -peer connection for which you need to understand that even if I have a gigabit connection, the max speed that I will achieve on a transfer like this will be approximately 10 megabytes per second if the person that I'm connecting to has a plan of 100 Mbps. So yeah, that is one thing that you need to understand that this is one issue where TeamViewer lags. And that is something that you would not face if you were to, let's say, upload your data to a cloud storage. For instance, if my friend has to send me some data, it might take them three, four hours to upload that big file onto the cloud server. But if I have to download it, it'll just take me a couple of minutes because my internet is faster than there. Which also brings me to another point, which is the fact that with cloud storage, I can download those files, well, anytime I want to. I just need that link and till the time that link is active, I can download the data from the cloud server at any given point in time. 
with team viewer both the systems need to be active and online at the same time because like i said it's a peer to peer connection so if all of those pointers do not hamper your experience it's still a great tool for transferring data from one pc to another all for free and i personally use it more than well using a cloud storage simply because of the limitation of file sizes that's it those pointers are something that you have to keep in mind and for some users that might sound like a deal breaker personally i am okay with that because i trust the people that i'm sharing my data with and uh, my internet plan is very good so i do not really care about all those factors but yeah that was it if you found this video helpful and you were able to successfully follow the method make sure to comment down below and give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel to show your love and support for us also if you have any more queries or you'd like to see any more how tos or tips and tricks make sure to comment down below and i'll make sure to make a video on that asap till then this is varun from guiding tech and i'll see you in the next one